With some few steps, you will learn how to solve this algebraic problem. It's a tricky math question. And I want us to learn how to solve this question together. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to my channel for more simplified mathematics solution. Now, let's get started. Now, we're going to look at the first equation. We are told that if the first equation is equal to minus 1, then what will the second equation be? Now, let's consider the first equation. From the first equation, we are told that x multiplied by x minus 9 is equal to a negative 9. So what do we do? Negative 1. So what do we do? The first thing we are going to do to solve that question, we're going to see how we divide both sides by x. That way, we can be able to clear this x over here. Now, let's do that. We'll have our x multiplied by x multiplied by 9, and this will be equal to negative 1. Now, if we divide both sides by x and divide here by x, this way, we'll clear this value of x. I will be left with x minus 9 equal to negative 1 divided by x. Great. Now, what do we do from here? From here, we'll have the idea of collecting like terms. We have two terms with x, and what we'll do is to bring the right-hand side back to the left-hand side because the values or the variables are always on the left-hand side. And the value with the constant 9 will move to the right-hand side. So we are going to simply take this, come over here, and then take this over to this end. Now, let's do that. If we take the other one to the other side, this will now become x plus 1 divided by x, right? And this will be equal to 9. Great. Now, we are going to simplify that. If we simplify that, we are going to simplify that. And to simplify that and actually get the value of x, what we simply need to do is to uh, take the square of both sides. I think taking the square of both sides will be able to take us somewhere. Now, let's take the square of both sides. We'll have uh, x plus 1 divided by x all squared, right? And that will be equal to 9. 9 what? 9 squared. Great. Now, if we have done that, this will now give us a variable. Remember, from uh, the, the, if we simplify this other part, we are going to simplify that to simply give us x square, x square plus, this will give us 1 divided by x square, and this will give us a positive 2, right? If you simplify that thoroughly, and this will be equal to 9 what? 9 square. Now, let's simplify this further. If we simplify this further, we're going to have two variables. This is going to give us x squared because we take the constant to the other side. 1 over x uh, squared, right? And this will be equal to uh, 9 squared is going to give us 81 minus what? 2. All we simply did is to subtract 2 from both sides. Right hand side will be equal to 79, right? Because 81 minus 2 we give us 79. Now, because these two have square, if we square this, we're going to have one square, right? Divided by x square. And one square is equal to one. And this will be plus what? Plus x what? Square. Now, let's simplify that. If we simplify that, that will give us the value x square plus one divided by x square. And this will be equal to 79. Great. Now, let's simplify uh, this. We are going to simplify this by doing one thing. And what we are going to do is to return this back to this place. Remember, and also take this back to the left-hand side. Remember, our main aim is to find the value of x squared multiplied by x squared minus 79. And that is the value we are looking for. So, if we, if we interpolate that, we are going to have the value of uh, x square, right? Uh, x square minus 79 to be equal to a negative 
1 divided by x words x squared. Great. So what do we do now in order to get the value of uh, our x squared, all in bracket, x squared minus 79? All we need to do is to now multiply both sides by x squared. And the reason why we are doing that is to also clear the x squared from the right-hand side. So if we multiply both sides by x squared, we're going to have our x squared minus 79, right? Multiply by, uh, multiply by x squared, right? We're going to have all this multiplied by x squared, or we'll have our x squared here, yeah? and this will be equal to negative 1 divided by x squared, multiply by x square so with this x square we'll have to clear x square and on the right hand side we are going to have a negative one why on the left hand side we are going to have our x square which is what s square minus 70 what nine and this will be equal to negative one and what are we asked to look for we are asked to look for the value of x square multiply by x squared minus 79 and that is the value so the value of x squared the value of x squared multiplied by x squared minus 79 is equal to a negative one and that is the solution to that question that is given to us up there I know you did enjoy watching this uh, video solution. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with friends and colleagues, and remember to also subscribe to my channel for more simplified mathematics solution. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time.